point to birds and trying to show you how I fixed uh, an ADATA solid state drive SSD. Uh, it was giving all kinds of error when it tried to format it. I seem to not be able to find the specific error right now. The main idea is I managed to somehow uh, install Windows on this system with this SSD, so I'm now trying to show you what I did. I have uh, used the Hiram Boot CD. This is the So I'm gonna now reboot and try to uh, attempt to boot in Windows with the CD on. Like start our restart. As I was attempting to film earlier, uh, it gave an error. I don't know if it's the RAM or the SSD. So trying to set up the to enter BIOS and set up the this, again no this is a fairly old uh, look here is the disk inside yeah uh, so I have the DVD inside so it should boot from it okay uh, Hopefully we managed to boot with the higher CD and I'll show you the main idea is I've uh, I'm trying to speak faster here so I don't get too much of your time. Um, so I booted from the higher CD and used some disk tools to erase the master boot record MBR uh, to write zeros on the on the hard disk I formatted, wiped it, cleaned it. I'm estimating that was an um yeah so I put it now. Uh, it was a, a virus installed on the disk and this is why. So I usually would have used um partition tools but I had hard disk tools. So back uh, where it should be are these tools Jesus more so when I tried to use uh, Toshiba hard disk diagnostic it give, gave an error I guess I was used to. Okay, let's do it how I used. I did it the last time. So, like, I tried to use partition tools. I think I tried to use Paragon Partition Manager that I usually use for this diff stuff. It failed. It didn't, didn't start. This might be because of the date on the computer. Because uh, won't allow you to boot on and it's not starting and then I'm gonna exit here and then M for menu and now I see it here so I go to master boot tools this is why I said I'm us usually more used to um, and MBR utility uh, no I didn't manage to use that go back to menu uh, MBR tools Well, anyways, <laughs> and we are wizard. Um, 
trying to get to where I was before. Okay, so this could help. I'm not gonna do anything around here because I'm gonna break everything, but you can reset area to zero, reset MBR to zero, it's like four, option four. I'm not gonna do anything because uh, I don't want to break, I managed to install. Okay, I'm going. We are saving and restore. Okay, so this one can go to 4. And you can do 6 wipe. Blank partition table 7. Uh, to exit, go back to menu, and yeah, the idea is to, uh, I hope I find the second one, no back, and we are to Showed this one. So yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, sadly, I don't. I'm not able to find uh, one of the tools I used to wipe the hard with. Um, so I'm trying to find now on track disk manager. Maybe kill this could help it because I think kill this could zeroes out uh, again. Master power, yeah, that's Oh, 
Well, partition tools. That was what I was looking for. So, and I think it's a Chronis disk director. And from here on, you have the access to after you wiped out the master boot record and. Um, Formatted, written some. Uh, oops, crashed. Uh, and from here you can uh, do create partition. Uh, and don't forget to commit changes at the end. Yeah, so let's see if it still boots. Easy to escape and then type restart. I need to pull the CD out. Please gonna boot. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna try to also write the steps down. Um, reboot your computer, laptop. If it's a laptop, unplug the battery. Maybe the virus is stored on the RAM, uh, on the DIMMs. Um, then um, use Hiram Boot CD to clear the master boot record, write zeros on it, kill disk, whatever. Um, and after that, uh, you have the Acronis disk director suit to format it also. I have a graphics view of it. And then I initially installed Windows 7 from a DVD. Uh, it didn't boot. And then I used an USB stick and I installed from a USB stick. Uh, and apparently I got it working yeah so thanks again for watching as far as I'm concerned I think this would be my last video uploaded on YouTube uh, because they're censoring and changing rules all the time and yeah thanks for watching and good luck fixing your gear your hardware bye